to get it looking this clean in one prompt is seriously good. He's given us a nice little header. We've got our hero section. We've got a nice badge, buttons. Our feature sections are right here. It feels like we get a new AI model every single week. And that's because we actually have been. Last week was Grok 3. And this week, our boy Claude is back with 3.7. I've seen a noticeable increase in quality. I'm just gonna show you guys. We're gonna create a visually stunning and modern weather card, right? Using Shadsen components. It should be striking and sexy. He's cooking for us. He's simulating a API fetch, which is quite cool. He hasn't just made a boilerplate card. He's added loading states guys to our card and i didn't ask him to do that because obviously you think about this as a data fetching exercise right we're gonna have to be fetching some sort of data from our weather api in order to display it and he's put in the loading states i feel like this is a really big step it's gotten so good at coding it knows without me even saying that i'm gonna want to put in some kind of data fetching I know that might seem like a little thing and I'm getting gassed about nothing, but that is significant. It's those kinds of subtle differences and improvements that are really making this model. This is fine, but we want like a nice background. So we'll say add a header area that has an animated background for the given weather. I'm going to see if he can do this in code. I've specifically asked for him to do it with frame of motion because we could achieve this just using a background video, right? But that's no fun. We're here to code. So we're here to test the limits and see just how far we can push our boy Claude. If we apply our weather card, accept file. And let's see what he's done for us, guys. Okay, refresh the page. Okay, look at this. That's interesting. You know, it's quite cartoony. I actually quite like it. You know, it's uh, it's not hyper realistic, but it's uh, it's something, right? So we built a weather card, right? That's just one singular component. However, let's see how the new model does when we're tackling something slightly larger, like a entire landing SAS page. So I'm going to say, make me a visually stunning landing page for my weather SAS using Shadsian components, all the standard sections of a landing page. And he's going to cook. He's cooking right now. Let's see. I think this might have actually been trained on some landing pages because it is just one shotted everything that I kind of wanted. And he's back and he's finished. So we're just going to apply this to the page, accept the file, and we'll see what he does. We could add width for item center justify center. That should put everything on the axis. And just like that, guys, this is looking really nice. It's got a Strange little popular thing. He's, he's, he's sprinkled that in at the top there. I'm not so sure about that one, Claude. Could get rid of that, maybe. This is, this is really, really good. To me, this is a step above the other models. I don't think we've really been able to have something one shot, something like this before. This is really, really impressive to me. To get it looking this clean in one prompt is seriously good. He's given us a nice little header. We've got our hero section. We've got a nice badge, buttons. Our feature sections are right here. We've got how it works. We've got a nice little pricing section. We've got testimonials, a call to action, and a nice little footer. And bear in mind that I didn't ask him for all of this, right? I didn't ask the model to generate me all of this. It knew that I said I wanted a landing page and then it cooks this up for me in one prompt. We're at a really interesting point in time. I think the ways in which we are coding are changing. And I think models like Claude 3.7 are really helping push that envelope forwards. Me personally, this is going to be my go-to model from now on until things change. And I think it probably will be for you as well. I hope that you've enjoyed this video and you've got a little bit of value from this. Happy coding, happy prompting, and I'll see you guys later.